Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Chandni from Adia Plexus. We are very happy and proud to say that we have All India ranked 12 amongst us, Dr. Anjali. Very, very happy for you, Anjali. Hello, Anjali. How are you? Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am, I'm doing great. Uh, I'm fine, ma'am. Yeah, so the moment you saw your rank on the screen, what is that you felt immediately? Oh, uh, I just couldn't believe my rank because I always thought uh, I want to come in the some uh, top five thousands, but I I I couldn't believe that uh, I secured a double digit rank. So I couldn't believe my rank at first, but then yeah, eventually I was like very happy, like really happy, ma'am. Yeah, though you couldn't believe, it's not just a, a simple double digit rank. It's like rank number twelve. The hard work and everything what you have put has just reflected and you just have to go through that. You have to believe that. Again, once again, congratulations. So what was the reaction you got from your parents, your friends and relatives immediately when you shared your rank? Uh, they were like really happy. Like uh, my parents felt my hard work finally paid off. Yeah, definitely, definitely. The much more happiness is seen in your parents rather than us yes. going through this. They have been in this journey throughout, right? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So, yes, ma this NEET PG 2025 was not a cake path. So we had so many struggles. Uh, you had these two sessions being converted to a single session and then you had this postponement all of a sudden. So what was that you followed throughout your path which made you secure this rank? I think uh, uh, to me, I think my consistency was the key, I would say, ma'am. Uh, so yeah, I've been, I've started my preparation like right a year back uh, in, in June 2024. Uh, till then, like till now, I think my consistency is the key, like, you know, like uh, how uh, uh, the the change of schedules, like, uh, like uh, it's very difficult uh, to deal with. But yeah, ma'am, uh, I think uh, you should be consistent with your preparation. Consistent, uh, consistency is the key. You should be consistent with your preparation and all. Yeah. Yeah, could you please tell me like uh, how many hours per day you used to prepare and uh, on an average how many MCQs you were able to solve per day? So initially during the first uh, four months of my preparation, um, it was only like six to eight, like it was a maximum of eight hours. It will be mostly six hours and I would never do MCQs during my uh, now the reading part where uh, we uh, do the first reading mm -hmm. of the subject, right? I usually uh, stick only to PYQs of the last two to three years during my uh, reading part. And uh, once I started my first revision, uh, the number of MCQs I put daily increased like a day by day and every month. First, uh, I'll usually stick to 50 MCQs like other than the PYQs. And then uh, I increase it to 100 and somewhere uh, between February and March, it was like uh, more than 200 MCQs per day. And some days uh, it would also be like uh, an MCQ day the whole uh, throughout the day. I'll be doing only MCQs. And again, um, as the exams approached, uh, like as the exams were uh, coming near, again, reduce the MCQs and my I uh, put my revision part uh, uh, into maximum part of the day yeah i could see that hard work and consistency right so 200 per day is actually that is what we usually advise in class also and i could see that you have actually done uh, it but 200 per day like was not a daily thing it was mm -hmm. uh it is like gradually increasing it from uh, like 50 mcqs and uh for almost two months like between feb to april i was able to do 200 to 300 mcqs like only a small part of my preparation still mm -hmm. but 100 mcqs are the key i guess yes, yes so you used to review your mcqs once you do this and what about the gts and all did they help you in your preparation were you able to see a consistent increase in the gts the number of positive responses and all ah uh, uh, yeah yes mama gts obviously so I think uh, resilience is the key when it comes to GTs because uh, in the early uh, parts, in the early times of our of my preparation, like GT scores would would put me down and down, and how you get up from that, you learn from it, and you know, uh, you like you change your preparation according to your GT score so that your GT scores would uh, improve the next time. Like you have to be resilient. Uh, in every part of this GT journey, I guess. 
uh so yes ma'am gts obviously you have to like uh, go through the gts each and every question the explanation given to it and you know and after uh, reviewing like uh, you have to see like how well your preparation matches with your gt score and change your preparation according to that i think neat pg is more of stra- like uh, strategies than hard work like more smart work than hard work yeah rightly said actually in competitive exams what is more important is smart work rather than hard work so you you would have had some strategies right so this is my kind of thing i'm going to go through this and that that is something which has got you in the first place now so can you share few strategies which you want to tell to your juniors also so that that would be uh, helpful for them to succeed in their life um first thing should be mindset i guess mm. i really feel now that neat pg is not only for the toppers like i was a very mediocre student mm. uh, during my entire college life i didn't even know like even an inch like how to prepare for neat pg mm. uh till my internship till my internship got over mm. so i think uh, if you have the right mindset and the right goal like neat is achievable for anyone it's, it's not uh, an exam only for the toppers uh so that should be a right mindset you have a right you should have a right goal like i have to go to this college and yes. i want this course so without the right goal uh, you really don't know where you are going or your gt scores are taking to so mindset uh, is i think the mindset is primary yes and uh, coming to strategies i don't think i had uh, like some particular yeah. strategy this my strategy this worked for me i don't think i had that actually ma'am so i i really couldn't comment upon that maybe i would think and uh, tell that to yes yes, yes. i see that you are very overwhelmed yes, and with now. the Yeah, yes, but ma'am. the main important thing which you told is setting up a goal. I think that plays a very important role. You have to know what is your target and what is your goal. Then only our preparation will be scaled up based on that. So I think that is very very important, which everyone should follow in their path of journey. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Ma'am. So you being a regular bad student, so could you please tell us like how Idea Plexus helped you in this journey? The workbooks, the Q banks, and the faculties. How we made your journey possible as a part of it. uh yes ma'am i uh, one thing i loved adr is the workbook like the how the workbook is uh, like you know uh, with all the pictures uh, put into and the right uh, workspace available for us to add the class notes and also the additional points which we see from other resources i think the workbook is uh, so nice and convenient for the students and other path uh, like other things like vsb was much uh, like was a great use to me like i could uh, revise one entire subject the, the key points of the subject in one go and leaderboard leaderboard i i could actively see like how i'm competing with my fellow uh, uh, fellow one eight aspirants like with daily lives uh, scores and ranks uh, leaderboards were also great ma'am like i could say everything about adr is adr is really great ma'am yeah so like the leaderboards and all we also had in class leaderboard right so it was like weekly for every class after uh, class we classes. had a leaderboard where you will compete with them and real time scores will also be displayed so like it's like uh, fighting with the time and seeing it for yes. real right yes ma'am uh, yeah it was live and i could see like where i stand in the mm. competition ma'am competition so you were like uh, following the uh, leaderboards regularly throughout your journey uh i would do all the class uh, leaderboards like once the class is over we have it uh, live ma'am those leaderboards i would do that regularly and during the later parts of my preparation i would do the daily like pvq leaderboard and the morning leaderboards regularly ma'am Yeah, that's uh, really great to hear. Actually, so yes. like, uh, what was your revision strategy? How many revisions you have done before the exam? So first, I planned three revisions mm-hmm. starting from I think December, ma'am. The first revision of uh, three months, second revision of one and a half months, and uh, the third, the final revision of one month and uh, ten days uh, revision before the I N I M A exam. and one revision like after ini uh, for the neat pg which okay. was actually decided to be held on june 15 15 uh 
uh, so that that would uh, come to like five revisions and once the schedules changed and our exams got postponed i added two more revisions and it was a total of seven revision i guess mm -hmm. great that's really great so i think uh, revision was another strategy of yours the, right it was very exhausting to do the final yes, six yes, yes. seven revision and all but you know we have to do it yeah i could actually see that hard work consistency and your eden strategy is like your revision so like we make up a timetable but we won't stick on to that but i could see that you have done it throughout see seven revisions that's really great so i could uh, visibly see that so finally anjali so if you just want to say a few things is open to you for your juniors in their path of preparation what is that you would like to tell them as i already said i've already uh, said it uh, through the course of the video like mindset is very important yes. you shouldn't uh, please do not underestimate yourself anyone like uh, anyone who have failed their exams uh, in college or the back benches like anyone can target need can target a great rank uh, so yeah mindset is the key and uh, uh, don't be like Uh, you know like i want to get some government seat or some course whichever suits my rank have a like goal like this i want to take this course or uh, this college because i learned it the hard way like from ini may until ini may i never thought ini was for me mm. only after the results i thought oh i could do ini uh so yeah like have a particular goal like even ini like uh, you can everybody can target ini ini is uh, the same you have to uh, follow the same strategies even for ini ini is pretty much same as neat so don't underestimate yourselves and i think stick to one uh, you can follow multiple resources but at the end stick to one book for example uh, uh, if it comes to pediatrics you have to have this one golden notebook of yours where you have uh, points from all the different uh, resources you can follow different resources but uh, yeah like put it into one notebook and follow that notebook till the end make sure you make that one notebook at the end of the your first revision so that it would be easy like for 19 subjects you have to have 19 materials and you have to stick only to that uh, you shouldn't be like you know wavering between different resources during your revision time that is one thing and uh, practicing mcqs uh, like uh, every uh, obviously every faculty tells that and uh, uh, everyone would have known already this is not something new uh, practicing mcqs is the key like initially it would be difficult to practice mcqs but as the days pass and you're uh, getting used to it uh, i don't think it would be very difficult practicing mcqs should be a cake walk once you practiced uh, you know no once you're consistent and be resilient gt scores always put you down and down definitely like gt scores are not uh, you know uh, to test your you no know, like uh, to how well you score or uh, what rank you are getting it is about what mistakes you make and what you learn from the mistakes and you shouldn't repeat the mistakes that is the key point like you know that is the uh, thing you have to take out from uh, gt is i guess oh, uh, that's very rightly said like uh, most of them they get the depressed on seeing the gt yeah hard just work, like the hard work resilience consistency i think these are the key to need definitely PGR preparation and ini is not something that difficult of examination you should have the like need pgs today uh, uh, also like uh, Uh, like have the same pattern as i and i yes. so i think you have to have the same level of preparation for both the exams yes very rightly said anjali so thank you so much for your time we are really happy and proud of you so be happy um, keep making your parents proud so all the very best team that take care thank you so much thank you so much ma'am thank you